trees. Trees are all around us, from the great rainforest of the Amazon down to the great plains of Africa. These trees have many different useful purposes as well. They provide a habitat to multiple organisms in the wild, help decrease the amount of CO2 going through our atmosphere, they prevent soil erosion, and they provide a material called wood that is used or incorporated into almost every building. However, getting wood involves cutting down trees, which means loss of habitat for many organisms, more CO2 going through our atmosphere, less oxygen for us to breathe in, more soil erosion, and much more. What are we going to do? This is where I come in. My name is Caleb Fisher and I'm trying to find a replacement for wood. Okay, so the material would have to have all or most of the properties of wood that make it so desired for building. It would have to be able to withstand time. It can't hurt the environment making the material. It has to be durable and it has to be biodegradable to some point. For example, the material can't degrade roots upon a building for obvious reasons. And, most importantly, the material can't be made out of wood. I'm going to collect grass clippings, weeds, and old leaves, and rearrange the chemical bonds so that when I mix part A with part B, it will make our new material. To increase the durability and decrease the likeliness of its collapsing due to biodegradation, I want to mix in a glue and blend in some chunks of parts of really strong plants, like for example hemp. Although it may sound like a good idea, more research needs to be put into this. If you do decide to choose this idea as the winner, I hope this new invention will change lives, buildings, and people all around the world.